Yo. How are things going over there? Oh, they're going okay. I mean, they're going relatively well. Yeah. I can't complain. I'm gonna let this one go right now. Mitch, my buddy's on the other line. We're just checking in with each other. All right, so what I have going on here is a VMC Neko hook. That's the business end paired up with a Yum Grub. Now, a um, little different setup. It's early in the year and I'm fishing real shallow, shallow water that has a lot of emergent vegetation. This is where the fish are hanging out right now, but this is, it doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot, but that is a pretty little bait when you just drag it across the surface of the water and you throw it up into the lily pads and you throw it up into the grass, you just kind of high stick it and slow reel it and wake that bait across the surface. And that grub tail in the back is just doing circles. You can stop it and kill it, but it looks really, really pretty. This little fluorocarbon keeper actually kind of keels the bait. It keeps it from turning and spinning while you're retrieving it. That keel, that little weed guard, I mean, it does, it does two things. It keeps the weeds off and it also keels the bait. It keeps the, it keeps the grub from rolling and turning. The really cool thing about this is that they will show themselves because you're just straight reeling this in. They'll boil up behind it. And as soon as, as soon as you see them boil up behind it, you can either speed it up, slow it down, or just completely kill it if you want. A lot of times they just run right into it and just eat it. But that's the nice thing about it is, you know, a nice flat calm conditions like this, you just V in that bait across the water and all of a sudden a big old bulge will show up behind the bait. Then you can, like I said, kill it or speed it up or do whatever you need to do to get that fish to bite. There we go. That's another big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the prettiest bass I've ever caught. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, that little grub swimming across the surface will catch a big one. In the right conditions, Oh, good Lord. Look at that. That is so cool. Great big old large mouth. Super fun fishing back in here. If you look at this in here, it's just in a little pocket. There's a beaver house right over there. This is something I would never be able to get a regular size boat into. You know, this kayak allows me to get into these places that I've never been. So that's super fun. You know, this, this kayak is, just over 12 feet long. But I mean, I can turn this thing in tight quarters if I need to. So it's really, really favorable for fishing in, in tight quarters. So nice being able to cast and wind and not have to deal with a paddle to get yourself from point A to point B. The only thing you really have to do is pedal and you can fish totally hands-free but it's really, really simple. Easy, easy to get around a body of water. <laughs> ate it. Ate it, ate it. So fun. It's such a fun bite too. You get to see them suck it right off the surface of the water. It's pretty much like a, pretty much like a topwater bite for the most part, you know. And that's part of the reason too. In this dark water, I'm using a high vis color. Really easy to see when a fish eats it. It just instantly disappears. Kind of old school, but gosh, it still works to this day. There's so many things you can do with the grub, and you know, I think it gets a little overlooked. So don't overlook the grub. The good old fashioned twister tail.